Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 23rd of February 1455, tradition dictates that Johannes Gutenberg published his printed Bible, the first book to be produced with movable type in the West. Although there's no definitive evidence for this publication date, numerous secondary sources state it, and therefore it is accepted by most people. Gutenberg was not the first person in the world to use movable type, and nor was the Bible his first foray into printing with it. He didn't even produce that many copies, with estimates ranging from 160 to 185 Bibles, of which only 23 complete copies still survive. However, the process with which Gutenberg printed his Bible revolutionised the production of books and is viewed by many as crucial to the developments that followed in the Renaissance and the Reformation. The earliest examples of movable type, that's the use of individual components that can be ordered to produce a printed document, date back to China's northern Song dynasty at the turn of the last millennium. But the enormous number of characters in scripts based on the Chinese writing system made this system unwieldy. Gutenberg therefore benefited from the much smaller number of characters in the Latin alphabet, but also invented a reliable way to cast large numbers of individual metal letters using a device he called the hand mould. Furthermore, he developed an oil-based ink that was optimised for metal type printing onto paper. With 1,286 pages, a complete copy of Gutenberg's Bible is now estimated to be worth up to $35 million, even though one hasn't been on sale since the 1970s. But the value of the printing press itself is immeasurable. Gutenberg's creation was responsible for an intellectual revolution.